A humanitarian doctor traveled to North Korea to heal blind individuals. The first thing that these people did as the doctor took off their wrappings was to praise their leader, Kim Jong-il. They didn't thank the doctor for helping them regain sight. They attributed uh, their, their new vision to their great general. This shows the powerful effects of propaganda and indoctrination. These people, uh, their minds have been being controlled. If you can influence the way that people think, if you can control the way people think, you can control the people. Watch this video. Yeah? Yeah? touch my nose? Where is your ask her where is her father? Next is a 35-year-old woman who is blind in both eyes. Hope we can make her see a little better so she can get married. Ask her to open her eyes, please. Now we spot the grandmother we had visited at home. She's been waiting for years to see the dear leader. And she's not disappointed. Each time a patient regained their sight, we were amazed to see them direct their grateful. We need to understand the powerful effects of propaganda. Our ideas about reality are highly influenced by the information that we've been exposed to. We often believe the same things that our family and friends believe. When individuals in North Korea are indoctrinated with ideas of their leaders being deity from a young age, of course they believe it. They believe the same things that everyone else around them believes. Watch this video of people in North Korea trying to get to the boat of Kim Jong-un. They're trying to get to him as if he were a god. Propaganda is incredibly powerful. <laughs> Kim Jong-un 
Kim Jong-un was educated in Sweden. He likely understands the power of propaganda. He lives an extravagant life while many of his people starve. Dennis Rodman spent time with Kim Jong-un on his private island and said that life with him is a constant party, a seven-star party. Rodman described his 200-foot yacht as a mix between a ferry and a Disney boat. The North Korean government spends $30 million importing high-end alcohol. Kim uses this propaganda because it helps him retain his power. If one can control the way that the people think, then they can control the people, and this is what he's done in North Korea. It's wild that in the year 2017 this is still happening, that you have a dictator living like a king while his people are starving, and that they, they basically worship him for it. Uh, if there's not intervention from other nations, then it's possible that this will continue for a very long time. Uh, there's a reason why Kim Jong-un is been developing nukes it's so he can keep living the life that he's living and not have uh, another developed nation come and topple his government he uses propaganda to help his people uh, buy into uh, buy into it all